In this example, I want to show you the community section. The community section is a section where you have saved um, layers, saved and shared layers from Unify, shared by the community. It comes with a selection of a few thousand um, that we've created, but I'm sure a lot of people will share their gradients as well. So how does this work? You just click it and then you can see that gradient is applied to your image and then you can just click through these. Let's just remap it and then you can just select one that makes a nice it gives you a nice skin tone if you're looking for a nice skin tone. If you're looking for something that is that will fit the image, then you can just, just look for it. However, Infinite Unify is a really clever tool, so let's do its create one because there is this analyzation process and this is really important. So now that I have a Unify layer that was created by Infinite Unify, I can I get actually a different sorting here. So it will sort the gradients based on the luminosity that we have set here based on the actual image. So these ones are sorted by how good will these gradients fit to your image based on its luminosity. So if I click this, I will be asked if I want to create a new layer. So um, every time if I, if I hit new layer, it won't ask me. So it will create a new layer every time I click one. So um, I really love the remap function that takes just the gradient and remaps it, remaps it to the one that I've created. So And now I can really just go through all these. And the ones that we've made are based on actual images that we've picked from previous work and also based on famous work. So we've collected a lot of magazines and stuff and just created skin tones based on these ones. So I really like that one, actually. So let's see get maybe something that I even like more. I like this one. So I can click on the download icon. I don't need to, but I can. And then it's in my user in my user layers as well. If I've created a gradient, like the one that I've created in another example, this one, and I want to share it with the community, I can just click on this little icon here. So one person means this is my personal one. If I click it, then it will be shared with the community. And that's pretty cool because then the community, it's the latest one that's added, so it's on top. And so now the community can just download it if they want to. And this is really, really very nice way to share whatever you're doing with the community. And I really hope that we're getting some, some nice tones here. If you've downloaded something, then you can't share it to the community again, obviously. And if you ever decide to not share it anymore, then you can just uh, click this one and it's not shared anymore. The ones who've who's had already downloaded the, um, the gradient, they will obviously keep it, but they can't share it anymore. So it's like a... So we don't get duplicates in the database. And um, so it's a really convenient way. So you have basically the one person, means this is your personal one. Click it, then it's shared with the community. Click it again, it's your personal one again. And if it's grayed out, then it's a gradient that comes actually from the community. So the community section is really, really cool. I wanted to show you something else. So this example is pretty interesting because it has, it's a very bright image. So I picked a bright algorithm and now I have a, yeah, if I look into this, this is really, really bright. It's on the right side of the histogram. And now with that selection, click into the community, I get the bright ones. However, if I would do a selection of really dark tones, I'm just picking the hairs now and go to my community section, I get rather dark colors. 
And if I would pick the dark algorithm, it would also take the dark images here into or the dark colors into my selection. And now also these examples are really, really dark because they are sorted whatever fits my image the best. So it's always a good idea to just jump into the, the community section and maybe you will find something that is really cool. It's also cool for creating this kind of split toning or sepia toning. It's really, really, it's really nice how Infinite Unify actually behaves with these, with these layers. It's really, really cool. And if you want to change that, because I've got some green shadows and some yellows here, I can always go to luminosity and change where the colors are. I uh, can always modify it in a way until I, until I like what I'm seeing here. Uh, rather to the dark here. I like this one actually pretty much. However, I can also go into the editor here and I can just... I can just, well, you know, change things as I want to and desaturate the shadows a little bit or change the luminosity a little bit. So it's a really a convenient tool and I can really, it really plays nicely with the colors here. If I want to change that one as well. It's a nice toning, toning tool. So everything you can do with your own created gradients. You can do the same with gradients from the community. And obviously, if you found something or if you changed something to your liking, then you can just save that gradient again for yourself. One quick note, these gradients are automatically saved online. So that means if you use Infinite Unify on a second computer, on a laptop or something and on your studio computer, for example, then these will be automatically synchronized with your second computer. 